So, if you guys were ever wondering what makes the perfect YouTube thumbnail, it actually doesn't even start in Photoshop. So, let me break down some of the science that I think about and consider when I'm making a YouTube thumbnail. First, what makes a great thumbnail is how you actually navigate your thumbnail branding. And if you're asking yourself, what is thumbnail branding, let's break it into these four basic things. Fonts, layer styles, photos, and your colors. Each of these things play a role in how your regular viewers can spot your videos out of the hundreds they scroll through daily. For example, the font you actually choose to add to your thumbnails can play an emotional role on what kind of content you might do. So if you're doing a more laid back vlog style content, a Sam Serif font is probably what you're looking for. Where if you're looking to do a more gamer slash comedic video outlook, maybe a more playful and bold font could be your option. And to further our previous point, a layer style combination can also add to your branding. Whether if it's maybe a thick stroke with a consistent color every time, or the text is always in a box. Anything can actually be a part of your thumbnail branding. Your camera photos, for instance. Are they always going to be to the left? Or the right? Or maybe the middle? Or maybe close up? You could even use the same exact theory for text. When you're going to create your thumbnails, you always want to put your text in the top left. Maybe the top right, maybe the bottom left, maybe the middle, maybe like the middle right corner, wherever you want to put it. All these things play a factor in your big YouTube channel's branding. Where if you actually see a white background with black text right in the middle, you probably know it's a Jubilee video. Or if you see a yellow background with a black box for text, then it's a genius video. These may be the reasons why you see a lot of the same gaming channels with the same exact thumbnail ideas because it usually comes from YouTubers suggesting their videos aren't getting a lot of views because their channels don't look like the thumbnails of the 1 million views per video guy. But I will say a strong thumbnail branding will go further than a 1 out of 10 video every 3 or so weeks chasing somebody else's style. Before that YouTuber with 1 million views per video came with theory on how they actually craft their thumbnails. Most times happens by default when actually considering someone's personality which actually puts the ball in your court. Not even mentioning your fonts, your layer styles, your colors, your photos, that's just branding. However, the perfect thumbnail comes with the idea and how you actually visually illustrate it. Ask yourself this, do you want people to click because of an emotional reaction? Do you actually want them to feel so left out they have to click on the video to see the next part? Do you wanna show everything that happens and make it so believable that they have to see how you did it? Did you get so mad at a game and rage quit and maybe break a controller? These examples are only based on emotional clicks. You can also create thumbnails that share a story or educate the viewers. There's only so many ways to actually get someone to click. However, did you ever stop to see what your actual top performers on the platform do? Let's really quickly start with the obvious that is Mr. Beast. Giving his channel a quick scroll, we can actually see the four different things we talked about earlier being in play. Color, font, layer style, and photo choices. But why did we actually click for most? For a lot of Mr. Beast's thumbnails, he chooses danger. For example, Mr. Beast and a shark in the water. Logan Paul hanging from a literal ledge. FBI putting him in handcuffs. And quite literally burning alive. I mean, for the record, these are all invoking an emotion that your creator is in danger. And then you have to go, I gotta see what happens. And then that's when you click. Now, let's actually use Jubilee as our next example. Many of their videos are actually posing a question. Basically, are you more like this person or are you more like that person? Challenging what character you might be to the overall society and the world. Then you ask yourself that question, do I want to be that? For instance, ranking by debt. Dang, do I look poor or something like that? Or ranking by weight. Man, will people think I'm less attractive for being too heavy or too thin to people? Posing the overall question of, is that me? And that will actually probably be in Jubilee's thumbnail guides. So yeah, is that me? I don't know. Click. And for a really quick last example, you got Faze Rug. Without actually diving too deep, most of the time it's sharing an experience that most people may not get to have. Or do things in a normal day that your regular day-to-day -day person will probably never do, but would love to know what would happen. All these creators basically found their niche and their market and stuck to it. And honestly guys, if you aren't thinking this way yet, then it's probably why your thumbnail game isn't that strong right now. However, now that I actually gave you guys some ways to navigate your thinking when creating thumbnails, let's hop into Photoshop and actually give you guys some cool Photoshop tips slash thumbnail tips, why not? First, cutting out your photo. This really should never take long and you should never really be pen tooling out your like, pictures anymore. Take your photo, throw it into your 1920 by 1080 thumbnail size, press W for the magic wand tool, then choose in the upper middle of Photoshop, select subject. Here, now all you have to do is select the layer mask and as long as you took a photo that has you in the focus, you'll get a cleanish cut every single time. And to actually fix the little crappy parts, use a black brush to erase and a white brush to fill in with a layer mask making sure actually selected on the mask and then flipping through with X on your keyboard to change between white and black. Next is the eye. Did you guys know the more they actually see white in the eye, the more your viewer can actually gauge your emotional status. A lot of your creator's thumbnails will actually have a pure white brush and fill in the eyes 
making sure it's actually not too obvious by erasing around the corners and feathering them off a little bit. Then going to layer blend modes and choosing luminosity, lowering the opacity of course if needed, and they get a more pure white around their eyes. They actually might even take it a step further and make their eyes feel more animated using their eye color with a brush going over with linear dodge add blend mode, lowering the opacity, and making their eyes pop even more. Do you guys actually see the difference? You thought you were invoking an emotion before, but now it's just different different. And the last one I actually have for you guys is color correction. No one really likes dark photos where they can't really see details in your clothes or your face. In Photoshop, go to filter, camera off filter, and change things like shadows, highlights, texture to get a really cool aggressive look. That way your photos are less bland and way easier to read. And to be honest, that's, that's all I got really. There's honestly so many ways to break down what a perfect thumbnail actually looks like. And the, the real answer is there's really no like pinpoint, like this is it, perfect formula. It's just about how you brand it yourself. You should always ask yourself, how do you get this amazing video idea to be clicked and then illustrated without any words? Then on top of that, make it look like it's your thumbnail branding. Then you wanna ask yourself, if I can't make a good thumbnail for it, does it even deserve to be a video right now? Because if the goal is for people to watch, without that good thumbnail and click-through ratio, you're honestly just missing your chances of that one out of 10 and who wants that? So with that being said, that is the end of the video here today. So hope you guys enjoyed, you learned something. If you guys did, leave a like and maybe subscribe and all that good stuff. Well. Uh, uh, that's what I got. I know it's probably not what you expected when you clicked, but hopefully you got something out of it. So with that said, this is what HQ out. Don't forget to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love, peace, and uh, good luck on your thumbnail. Just that's all I got.